tempo or rhythm, whatever you want to call it, this can be a very important part to the control and the consistency of your golf swing every time you hit a shot. In recent times, especially with Bryson DeChambeau coming onto the scene and pushing the boundaries, it can be very difficult and conflicting to understand what tempo or rhythm is all about. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I think that you should be considering when looking at your tempo of your golf swing. So you know the drill, let's get stuck in. This is Nick Does Golf. Hey golfers and welcome back to another video here on my channel Nick Does Golf. It's great to have you here for this one. Today we're talking all about rhythm or tempo. Now this is a very sticky subject at the moment because Bryson DeChambeau has come out lately and he basically defied everything that you should be doing in the coaching manual. A lot of the things that he's doing I totally get, but for somebody else to digest and do it for their own game is sort of going to be impossible unless they are really athletic and strong. So in this video I'm going to try and help you to digest everything to do around this topic. So let's go! For years and years in the coaching manuals we have been pretty much told to hit our golf shots around 80% of our physical capabilities. So taking it back 80%, coming through and holding the finish, not taking the tree out. Now Bryson has just pretty much come out and said stuff that, I'm only hitting it 100% every single time. He's hitting massive drives, his irons are going further than ever, I think he hits his 8 iron well over 200 yards. These are just figures that amateurs can only dream of. But there's a lot of things that he is doing in order to get to that stage. He's allowed his body to get to this point where he's just trained and trained and trained, his nutrition has been really good and his physical capabilities have expanded. I think he's doubled what he is lifting and that is incredible. But there's an important thing which you really need to understand. These elite athletes, whether it's a decent player at a golf club, they have different body compositions, different capabilities and different ways of doing things. See it like this, if you're a 20 handicapper and your 80% of your club head speed is say 75, 80 miles per hour, this might be completely different to somebody that is on an elite tour, say for example the European tour, their 80% of what their capabilities are, they might be able to do 110 miles an hour. This is the thing which you need to understand with tempo. So when you see somebody that's pretty decent and they've hit the ball quite a long distance, their club head speed is obviously going to be more because their body is capable of doing that. Really there's only two ways which you can sort of enhance this. Number one is you train and you get stronger, fitter, faster, better to make sure that you can enhance your performance physically and you can transfer this into your golf. Or there's number two where you just stick with what you've got and work with it. When hitting the golf ball so hard, you might encounter a few problems here and there, such things as pulls. Pulls is a very common one because you're gripping it that tight, you're so eager to get towards the target that you're going to actually hit the ball on a starting line which is going left of target. Another one is that you might actually fall behind the ball a little bit, especially with the driver because you're trying to get so much launch onto that golf ball that you might actually block it right because you are staying behind it. There's also a positive to all of this. You don't actually think about a lot apart from actually bombing it. But seriously though, if your tempo is one of your biggest things and you're focusing on a smooth and silky swing, then it works for you, so make sure you keep doing it. If your control is much better, then that's certainly going to help in terms of your dispersion rate because it's going to be narrower, so make sure you stick to it. Or if you are one of these players that is taking up the new sort of initiative of actually trying to hit the ball as hard as you can because it certainly helps with your mental side of the game, then go for that. Obviously it's going to take some working out for you because you're not going to be, say, as accurate, but if it's going to be something that's going to be a work in progress, then go for it. But this could work if you get stronger and improve your nutrition. You're going to be able to increase your distance of your 80% if you can jack up that club head speed. There's nothing to it, it's just a simple formula. So really nowadays tempo is sort of changed into a personal preference thing. Whether you're somebody that has a silky smooth swing and it works for you because you feel like you have more control and more consistency of where the ball goes, then great. 
or if you have somebody that does really try and hammer the golf ball with every single shot and it works because it makes you feel good in terms of your mental side then go for it but go away practice it see how you get on so if you found that video useful make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment down below i'd love to know what your opinion is on this and what works for you if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button down below i'd really appreciate it as you can support my channel as i deliver more free videos out for you guys for nothing as well as that check out all my social media platforms i'm on instagram twitter and tiktok so you can keep up to date with everything that i'm doing i hope you found that useful and it's clear for you to understand thanks very much for watching and see you all on the next one